course. I mean, for me, what I thought was fascinating is is the conversion aspect of uh, of the liberal on the weekend, and this whole sense of this whole kind of communism, socialism impact that's happening in Western society. I mean, <clears throat> what were some of the things that uh, that convinced them that you said? I don't think it was anything that, that I said particularly that convinced them. I think it was really the dialogue um, and, and discovering that we actually have more similarities than we have differences. Because this is what's happening today. We have a, a government that's politicizing everything. You have a, a political correctness where people are afraid to actually tell people what they actually think and feel. Um, and we're shutting all, all that dialogue down. So it just becomes very polarizing. So if you can open the door to the fact that we actually have more similarities than we have differences, um, thus trying to take away some of the labels and isms, um, you know, he had, uh, you know, you, you said liberal, but his idea of liberal wasn't that different than ours. But when you could actually have the dialogue back and forth, when he would bring up something and I could bring up a, a slightly different perspective on the same problem or issue and go, well, we've tried it that way or history has shown this to be the end result of that action. If, and yet if we look at this and then it was like, oh, I hadn't really thought about it that way. Right. So, you know, people are now open because we're working, we're working together to find a solution to a common problem what? as opposed to, yeah. okay, well, you're this and you're this. So we've got to fight each other. Like, I mean, Trudeau is a perfect example. It doesn't matter what Andrew Shear says. He could come out and agree with him. But because it came out of Andrew Shear's mouth, mm -hmm. he would never, ever go for it. Yeah. And I'm sitting here and I'm going, that's ridiculous. You know, we, we've got to get past all this nonsense and start doing what's right I think a, a, a lot of people look at liberalism and conservatism, if you want to take the labels for a second here, uh, they, they take the, the two <clears throat> liberal and conservative and say, <clears throat> I am politically or economically conservative and I'm socially liberal. Like, what does that mean? What yeah, does so that really believe, mean? You believe in helping your, your neighbors and, and well, your fellow yeah. man, so do we. Yeah. But, but, but so do so conservatives. So, so is a conservative. But yeah. the, they want to keep the, the liberal thing like, it's like uh, well, what affordable if, housing. Well, it's like, just an example, affordable housing. There's no such thing as affordable housing. There is inexpensive housing, mm -hmm. but there's no affordable housing. You know, so how do we get <clears throat> inexpensive housing to house people rather than affordable housing you know that's the difference I, I think what it really boils down to is who do you want to have making your decisions who do you want to have in charge mm -hmm. because for some reason people have put the government in a position where somehow they're smarter more informed you know better to make decisions right. than we are <clears throat> and yet when I look at it and I've, I've worked, you know, in, 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 for the military and I've, you know, worked for government. And, and I look at it and I go, these are just people. They are people like you and people like me. They don't know any more than we know. You know, sure, they get access to some different information, but they're not any smarter. They're not better educated. There's none of that. So do you want them making your decision from Ottawa, which is however many thousands of miles away, they don't know your personal circumstances. They don't know your family, your daughter, your son, you know, your relations. You don't know what you have, what you don't have. Do you want them making the decision or do you want to be the one who is empowered to make the decision yourself? If you've enjoyed this excerpt, please don't forget to watch the full video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.